hello everyone in this video let us try to display the information about the endpoint that is nothing but our service endpoint se so i can use se object to display the information so i have that code ready with me so i'm going to display address binding and contract so i can say se dot address you can say se dot binding dot name and i say se dot contract dot contract type so a b c of endpoint so i'm trying to display that and say control f5 address binding is ws http binding and contract is i multiplication service contract Now, one more advantage of hosting a service on console host is having TCP endpoint. So I can also have TCP binding. So I'll just change this HTTP to net.tcp and my binding from WS HTTP binding to TCP that is net tcp binding as i know very well it is no more an http endpoint so i need not to have this that is service metadata behavior now rest of the things are same i'll just save this and i'll say control f5 now you can see that endpoint is net.tcp and net tcp binding now we will try to have both the endpoints side by side so this is our tcp endpoint now i'll simply copy this paste it here and i'll rename it to tcp base address and this to http base address let the port number be 90 save this now here i need to pass both the base addresses because i have both the endpoints so i can use array of uri tcp base address and HTTP base address now I'm going to add uh, let me change this to TCP base address simply copy this and I'll be adding one more endpoint let me name it as HTTP service endpoint and this binding basic HTTP binding and this as HTTP base address now I have two endpoints now I can enable the metadata for this endpoint as well I'll just enable this metadata service metadata behavior enable service description behavior dot add save this now how do I display the information here instead of moving with each and every endpoint se dot address then HTTP SE dot address so instead of that I can iterate through all the endpoints using service host object I can use for each loop now you can see that I have service host dot description dot endpoints it is a collection of endpoints then I can say address binding and contract for each and every item Control F5 now you can see that I have net.tcp and HTTP both the bindings or you can say two endpoints one is net.tcp and another is HTTP now let me 
cross check it let me test those endpoints copy this so HTTP endpoint is available so it is hosted and it is listening now how do I test net.tcp endpoint I can test net.tcp endpoint with the help of telnet tool that we have so that is what normally I, I use so I do not have telnet installed so it is very simple and it is very easy to enable telnet client so I can go for this program turn off features on wind and from here I'll simply check this telnet client or I'll enable telnet client and say okay so it has got installed now I'll just go for looking this telnet tool so I have got telnet here I can simply say O is for connect to local host and for TCP base address is localhost 6789 is the port number 6789 now it will be trying to connect so you can see that it says telnet localhost that means it has connected to localhost it may take a little while to connect so it means that my TCP endpoint is up and running and is listening and my HTTP endpoint is also up running and listening now let me stop this service service got stopped now it should not display any data so my service has been stopped now let me check for telnet as well so I'll again go for telnet and I'll say open connection to localhost 6789 now it says that connecting to local could not open connection on this port because my service is not running anymore so that's it in this video we have hosted multiple endpoints and we gathered the information about the endpoints now this is the major advantage of self-hosting thank you very much